This is how the last episode ended. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good to see you. I, I, I was over here waiting and waiting and then I thought, you know, I'm gonna walk over here just for the heck of it, because it says B. You see, this is a, this is exit A and that's exit B. So I've been waiting over there and I thought, I'm just gonna walk down here. I just walked here, just now. I don't even know where I am if I tell you this story. What do you mean? I, I'm still shaking right now. Well, I, I, I said border, but it was border. What services are Customs. No, not the normal one. They, they took me behind and they interrogated me. I was wondering what was taking yeah. so long. So then they started again now when I got out, so I thought I, I already said before, so... Oh my god, oh. I was so worried that you weren't going to make it. I still cannot believe I'm out, I'm like... <laughs> and I'm looking like shit right now. Miha went to the bathroom. And while I waited, something happened. My heart. So when you went to the bathroom, you're not going to believe what happened. An immigration officer came up to me and said, are you waiting for your colleague? And my heart starts pounding. And I said, yes. And then he says, has he come out yet? And I'm like, it's a she. Oh, oh my God. Can you believe that? <laughs> So we are super excited that we are starting our next adventure together. We are going to be purchasing a brand new travel trailer from Dutchman. The model is a Kodiak Cub and we're very fortunate that they agreed to allow us to do a tour of the plant. So we're going to show you what it's like buying a travel trailer for the very first time. So come along with us. And let us show, show you, you around. around. <laughs> we are just inside the, the Dutchman the manufacturing. We are visiting the facility right now before we're going to pick up our RV. This is the Coleman um, producing facility, whatever you can see here. Here at Dutchman, we will run a certain number of floor plans a day or per week. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll switch over to a different floor plan. So that same floor plan probably will only run every six to eight weeks because we can offer so many various uh, sizes of floor plans here at Dutchman. Okay. And off we go, ready to roll, ready to pick up our new home. Yeah. I know. Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. Oh, I cannot wait to show you. But to first of all, for us to see it. Yeah. <laughs> and then to, we're going to do a tour of it. It's going to be amazing. We are 
are here at Showalter, the RV dealer. We are picking up our unit. And which one do you think it is from this one? Uh. <laughs> We're going to search for ours. We know obviously which one it is, but we don't know where it is here. So we're going to try to identify it. But there are a lot of cool ones. Like I'm looking at some of these big ones and I'm thinking, oh, I want that. And I see a big Alpine there. I guess I already told you that we don't have that one with this. <laughs> oh, you have all brands here. This Astoria looks nice too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But look at this Alpine here. I said that if we don't manage to get it now, someday in the future, we will have one of these. Isn't it cool? It's a villa on wheels. I wouldn't mind a voltage either, to be honest. So what do you think about this one, babe? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this, it's got that certain Arabian something. Oh no, that's Fleur de Lis, no? The, the sign. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, Suzanne would like this. Look Suzanne, Fleur de Lis. Yeah, it's kind of Arabian. I know. Wow. This is bigger than your apartment. You can play in football in here. My I don't like the finishing, but it looks very nice inside. Goodness, great. Look at this huge bed. Wow. You actually, look at the storage you have in the bathroom. Huh. Yep, this is living. <laughs> This is the very first time we're entering our unit. Oh. It smells new. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, it's so decent, the bathroom, size-wise. Yeah. So decent. Look, look, it's bigger than my two hands stretched out. And we have cabinet. Well, we just took possession of our brand new Dutchman Kodiak Cub travel trailer. 177 RV. That's right. <laughs> so we thought we'd give you a, a look around before we start putting all our stuff in it. So you, you have a kind of an idea of what it looks like inside. And it's still very clean and I wish you could smell it. It yeah. smells It smells so new. new. I love the smell of new. So come along with us. We go straight in. Ta-da! Queen bed. The sink is pretty big. A table slash living area. <laughs> Plenty of storage here as well. Uh, we have a huge fridge for this size of an RV, I would say. Really? Uh, the oven? We're not going to go into too much detail right now because we want to show it while it's a living space. This is a very, very decent bathroom because it's a small size trailer. So, so this is it in a nutshell. Our little home for the next you must. God knows how many. We'll see. Welcome to our home. And come, look at this storage space here. I think it's going to take us a couple of hours to pack everything from our truck into the trailer. And it's already five o'clock. Yeah. Don't feel me like that. It's already five o'clock. <laughs> Thank you. 
to be honest, uh, it's uh, it's been a long time since I've towed a trailer, and one of the things that we overlooked was the fact that I can't really see. Uh, the side mirrors are kind of useless at this moment because the um, the trailer is so much wider than the truck. So that's a little stressful. The RPMs are running a little bit high uh, because we're towing so much weight. So I'm not going very fast. So it's, uh, I don't know, so far it's a little bit stressful. Um, I'm, I'm worried about not being able to see on the sides very well. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So, so far, so good. <laughs> we're off to a good start. That's how you learn, by doing it. Nobody told us about the mirrors, so we didn't realize it was wider than this. You learn as you go. We'll keep you posted. Well, our first fill up with this uh, travel trailer it's pretty darn expensive. We only averaged about seven miles a gallon, maybe seven and a half, which is half of what the truck gets. We usually get about 15 to 16 miles on the highway. I don't think this tank's gonna be any better. That didn't sound so good. You will not believe what happened to us on our very first night of camping. Click on the video to the left to watch the next episode.